Ma'am, I want to be a doctor. That's the only thing that I've ever dreamed of. Then why are you sounding like you're already giving up? Because it used to feel possible earlier. But now I just wake up with panic and go to bed with regret. And my focus, it fades in seconds. And that's not even the worst part. I don't feel like myself anymore. I used to feel very sharp and confident back when I was in school. But now I just feel so lost. Well, that's because you're growing and growth doesn't feel like confidence. It feels like absolute chaos. Can I not become a doctor without all this fear, uncertainty and pressure? Now you tell me, is it possible to reach a destination without actually walking the path? Trust me when I say this. Every student that once wore a white coat stood exactly at the same place that you're standing in right now. They had the same amount of fear, same distress and same doubt, but they turned out fine. I wish there was some way to chase this dream without feeling like I'm falling apart in this process. Well, that's the point. Chasing a dream this big will always, always cost you something. In order to get there, you have to outgrow versions of yourself that don't serve you anymore. And that certainly isn't painless. Outgrow? What do you mean? I mean, you have to let go of these old habits that are kind of holding you back from becoming the next version of you. For example, the late night scrolling when you feel anxious, the avoidance when a chapter looks tough, the overthinking, the comparing, the constant need of motivation before you start a chapter. All of that have to be let go of. And remember, you're not just studying to clear need. You're training yourself to show up consistently day after day as a future doctor. But I kind of miss who I was before all this. More carefree and less burdened. And I didn't feel like a failure every time I opened a textbook. You shouldn't really think about it that way. You weren't a failure then and you're not a failure even now. The life that you had before probably had more peace and more ease but that definitely came with certain limits. You can always go back to your old life if you choose to. But you'll also go back to the same hesitation, the same regret and the same loop of unfulfilled dreams. So what do I do now? I don't feel like who I used to be and I'm nowhere close to who I want to become. I'm just stuck in between. That in between space that you're describing right now, that is transition. You're feeling uncomfortable because that place is not familiar to you. Now, this might feel like you've let go of the shore, but the land is nowhere in sight. You're trying to swim so hard while carrying some extra burden on your back. Now, this is difficult. I get it. And this is the place where most people quit. But this is also the place where magical transformations can happen. Just remember, whatever it is that you're dreaming of right now, that is of becoming a doctor, it doesn't demand perfection. All it asks for is persistence. Hmm, that makes sense. But also there's this constant fear of, what if I don't make it again? Then you probably just try again, wiser and braver. Also, on the way, you could discover something else that could bring you joy. You're doing so much better than you think. Let the discomfort shape you. Just keep showing up every single day and one day very soon, that white coat that you've always been dreaming of, it'll fit you just like it was meant for you. All the best.